Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. This video is going to be more of a general sharing. I'm going to talk about the unsurmountable point in the expansion where most of the player base has stranded today. If you haven't, well that's good to hear. However my guild is falling apart at the moment and I will tell you guys exactly why we eventually quit raiding. Most of you guys already did all the bosses in Heroic Nighthold and like my guild you can probably clear it on reset day in less than 2 hours. Easy. And that's basically what most of you guys will do when it comes to raiding. Only for the sake of getting some Warforged pieces or maybe in order to gear up your alt. Right now it's very hard to get that 20 people dedicated mythic raiding team together. Especially for those that raid mainly for gear, because you can get lucky thanks to the warforging system with only doing heroic night holds and not be bothered with the dedication and endless wiping that comes with mythic raiding. The warforging system is in my opinion something that shouldn't even be part of the game. I'm going to use my guild as an example since I think we represent a big part of the raiding community. So let me take you back to when Nighthold was released. We had no problem with getting 20 plus people because everyone was excited for the new raid tier. We only raided 2 times a week and it took us about a month to get 10 out of 10 on Heroic. We weren't a mythic raiding guild by any means, but when we were done with Heroic Nighthold, we would definitely give mythic a try. From the moment we had Heroic Nighthold on the farm, we would clear it as fast as possible because there were still some people that needed tier pieces and best is not trinkets, including me. Oh yeah, of course, the chance on that Warforged piece of gear was also the reason why we kept doing Heroic Nighthold. But after that, we would go straight into the Mythic Raid. As a guild that didn't really consist of people that had a whole lot of experience in heavy progress raiding, most of the guys I played with weren't really used to wiping on the same boss for several weeks. But that's what real progress is all about, so we downed Midi Scorpion Run pretty fast since it's not really a challenging boss by any means and we were over gearing it quite a bit. Then came Mythic Anomaly and that's when the first cracks in our raid team began to show. There was no real gear to gain from our progress night with killing Midi Scorpion Run followed by an entire evening of wiping on Mythic Anomaly. Everyone would be there on Wednesday when we would clear Heroic Nighthold and they still had that chance to get a Warforged piece of gear. But on Sunday when we would do our progress night, we could notice that way less people were signing up and having all sorts of excuses. But most of us knew people couldn't be bothered with wiping on one boss for an entire evening while not really gaining anything from it. Every week less and less people signed up and filling those spots became an impossible task pretty fast. Which led to frustrations within the guild, because it meant that most of the time we didn't even have close to 20 signups for our mythic progress night. We did came up with a temporary solution and switched our progress day with a reset day, a short term fix, after that we killed Anomaly pretty fast. Still more and more people were declining the calendar and we wouldn't be able to reach 20 players. Most of the guilds on our server were experiencing the same problem, recruiting became a slow and painful process. The first time we killed Mythic Anomaly was also the last time that we ever stepped into Mythic Nighthold as a guild. For the time being we are still clearing Heroic Nighthold every week with the people that still feel like it, but most of my guildies took a break from raiding and are waiting for Tomb of Zagaris, which is still a month away from being released. I also don't want to leave my guildies behind and betray them by opting for another guild. I have been in my current guild for almost 2 years and well, yeah, I have to admit that I really enjoy the people that I play with. Chances are high that the grass isn't going to be greener elsewhere. Also due to having a pretty filled work schedule, it's almost impossible for me to raid more than 2 days a week. All in all, I think it's also due to the warforging system. A lot of people in our guild couldn't really be bothered with putting much time into mythic raiding, but you could also get lucky on Warforged gear and get almost the same amount of item level out of Heroic. As an old school player who did raid hardcore back in the days, I still share the opinion of other veteran players that the best gear should be rewarded by the highest raid difficulty. I personally think Warforging shouldn't be part of raiding in general. It's sad to say but WoW has come to the point that it's such a luck based game with item level being very important and even then you cannot be sure that you have a good or a bad player in your team. 
For example, you can get 895 Titanforge gear from Racefinder, which in my opinion is complete crap. That's it for this video guys. Let me know where you guys stranded on Mythic Nighthold. Is your guild still raiding? I'd be happy to read your experiences. Don't forget to like, comment and of course subscribe. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.